Hello guys. I got to thinking it would be kind of cool. You know how we talk about, or you hear me talk about access time and why the 150 nanosecond RAM just don't jive with these De Defender and Williams boards. And why is that exactly? You know, as I know, so many people probably think, oh, it's a 4164 RAM, you can put it in there, it's good to go, whatever. You know, and, and I'm going to try to explain why access time is important. These are 200 nanosecond parts, which means this part is engineered, this part is designed to have a 200 nanosecond window for setting up the parameters and executing the parameter of put in the row and column select on the pins put in the right you know the right enable basically is the period of time where this all happens the data the address is placed on the pins the data is placed on the pin for a write and you have 200 nanoseconds for this chip for that to happen and for the 150 nanosecond part it allows you 150 nanoseconds. It has to be done within that time. Otherwise, it just, you, you'll get wonkiness. That's where the 131 RAM error comes into play on Williams boards. And then it boots and it runs because the RAMs aren't really bad, but the access time just isn't proper. And what that looks like over here, I got this, and I kind of did a little doodling here. And here is the 200 nanosecond time period that we have in here. And then this was the 150. This is the right enable pulse. This is the right enable. So during this 150 nanosecond period, it's not, it's not actually a period. It's just the width of the, the negative pulse. That's the time that you have for the row and column to be set the the address pins to be set the data to be set and and then that 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 happens within this time right and the same thing with 200 nanosecond i have a snapshot here of the right enable pulse for these for this chip and this is hardware generated it doesn't change and I'm measuring that pulse and it is a 262 nanosecond pulse so basically what this system is saying is it wants it needs a 260 nanosecond setup time right to set these up and execute whatever it's trying to do with these rams that's why when you have a 150 nanosecond part in here it doesn't it doesn't want to work quite right because it just the time isn't it's not allowing enough time for this system this system is too slow for those rams you can see right here this is the speed of that setup pulse that setup and execution pulse it's 290 uh, 262 nanoseconds so actually what would be perfectly ideal for this board set is a 250 nanosecond access time ram 200s work well with it 150s you've seen don't work very well but ideal conditions would be to use a 250 nanosecond access time ram because it's giving you almost exactly 250 nanoseconds to set up and execute so yeah just kind of go over that a little bit but that's what that means with access time the 150 nanosecond access time means that the RAM are only allowing 150 nanoseconds to be set up and execute. That's why you're getting errors. This, this system is not designed for 150 nanosecond parts.
it's designed obviously for a 250 nanosecond part. Yeah. Just a little further explanation of that. All right. Thanks a lot and hope you learned something and uh, you now know what what type of RAM to, to use. 200s, in my experience, 200s work well. 200s allow enough time for this system to work right. The 150s don't. So, yeah, all right. And yes, also guys, this is that board set that I just repaired. And after the burn in, I came out the next morning, turned it on and it did not hold the, uh, the settings. So I took a closer look at this guy and it's, uh, I did not, I did not see this, but it's kind of fuzzy. It's got corrosion on it. So, yeah. That's, yeah, that, that's not going to be reliable at all. So I did remove it. There is no corrosion on this board. I removed that. I'm just waiting. I bought one. I'm going to replace that, put the batteries back in. It's kind of elementary. So, and that will officially finish this repair. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you about the access time and everything like that. So, all right. Shall see you on the next classic arcade repair. Peace out, guys.